are, we're not following best practices, right? We are accessing uh, a data source directly from our component. Uh, and instead, this should uh, live inside of a you know, reusable modular uh, service that uh, we, can, um, we can then reuse in, in different components. So let's, uh, let's uh, go back to here in the core code where we have the services and we'll declare a brand new service right, that encapsulates that fetch. And we'll call it, you know, because we are dealing with uh, lessons, we'll call it uh, lesson service client. Right, and, and in there, right, we're going to declare a service, right, It'll, we're going to export a class, right, that is, we're going to make injectable so that it can be reused and auto-wired from, from other components. So what we're going to do is that we're going to grab this fetch here and we're going to encapsulate it inside of, you know, finding lessons for a particular module. We're just going to take as argument the module ID, and it's going to go fetch that with the module ID, with the module ID that's being passed as a parameter, and it returns returns that right. And so finally, in the tabs, instead of using this fetch here, we're going to ask to have the service wired into us, right? This is the um, lesson service client that's going to be injected into us so that instead of using this bad practice here, we are going to replace this with this.service.findLessons4 module. We'll pass the this.module ID and then we can then ref, uh, render it. Now the last thing for this to actually work we need to register this in our app module as a provider. So in the provider, we're going to say module lessons, right? And that should now work. Let's try it out. Oops. Let's see. This is good. We go to tests. We click on lesson. All right, we got the lesson. Very good. So that's working. Excellent.